Hey guys, welcome back to the Week in Review, isn't it, Josh? Yeah. That's right. A Week in Review. Yep. Here at Culture. Yeah. I'm Andy, this is Josh. Uh, Bianca is here also. We've got Luke and Blake are also in the house. And uh, you're in the dumbest hour of your week because we've got plenty of cool things to show you and plenty of crap yeah. things to say about them. So, with me, <laughs> with me and with Goo. Yeah. And also, <laughs> I, was waiting, I was waiting to bring this up. Not was, long, Josh. Yeah, no, not long. <laughs> And he didn't invite me to his wedding. He didn't. That was years ago. <laughs> he didn't invite me. He didn't invite me to his wedding. None of us knew you then. No. Doesn't matter. He didn't invite me to his wedding. <laughs> anyway, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is a week in review. What's a week in review? Well, we review a bunch of products that have come in over the last week, but this week is very exciting because it's not just a week it's worth of stuff. No, it's... It's like a month. Essentially the best of the last month because this is the first week in review of the year, 2022. Boy, that's exciting. I'm excited, uh, and you'll get excited too, because we've got plenty of cool things to be giving away. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Um, there's like, lots to talk about, but plenty of the giveaway as well. Uh, mainly, we're going to give away this, uh, this, uh, this ACDC Back in Black Deluxe Pop Album Set. Uh, look at that. Five pops, one uh, deluxe box packaging. Yeah, so if you like ACDC Deluxe Box Packaging or the Color Black, leave a comment to go on the draw to go on the wheel. What do you need to do? All you need to do is just leave a comment. Well, it's um, not. It's not all you need to do. Ask a question, you're more likely to get on the way. Yeah, we've never really established the rules around this. Luke is watching the feed, and he's going to be picking some names from people. An who... interesting question. Yeah. Oh, you need, on, you need to capture that. Luke's attention, Yeah, uh, essentially. Uh, and he's going to put your name on the wheel, and we're going to spin that wheel at the end of the episode. We're going to give away some prizes. One of those is the ACD, ACDC Back in Black box set. The other one is this sweet cosplay Tinkerbell uh, backpack by Loungefly. Uh, and if we're feeling real generous, we might give away a little, uh, little Jersey Fusion card there, Josh. Ooh. We might. A little, uh, little Jersey, Jersey Fusion. Just Action. depends as to whether we're allowed to do the quiz or not. Oh, uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, uh, leave a comment on the feed, join in on fun. This is an exciting hour of power. Uh, Ying is going to kick it off as a lounge fly. Oh, yeah, okay, yes, yeah, so I'm doing that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I am super duper excited. We have gotten so much lounge fly come in um, since we last saw you guys, and here's a small handful of it. It's all very colourful, it's all very exciting. So let's just start with the one closest to me. Um, so this is um, one of the many exclusives we have in. So basically, um, that just means not every retailer got their hands on these ones. What so this is doing? none other than Darkwing Duck. Oh, let's get dangerous, Bianca. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get dangerous. I love the detail that Loungefly go into um, when they're doing these kind of fandoms into bags. It's just amazing. Like, there's even the um, the name escapes me at the moment, but one of the vehicles that he uses as the enamel zipper charm, which is so so cool. It could be dark something, right? Dark. Dark reveal. Yeah, it was. It was dark uh, right. It was uh, essentially dark cops of Batman Harry. So mm, yeah. Dark Batman. Batman. I don't remember Batman wearing a hat like that. Yeah, but Dick Tracy wore a hat. That's like because that. he's. It was he's a detective. Stylish. It was just <laughs> comic book detective. <laughs> Dick Where's Tracy. That? I haven't heard that. Where's Batman? <laughs> Well, the mask and the purple. Batman's not like purple, he's black. And also he was standing on top of things. So no, he's pretty purple. He's pretty purple. Though. I think I'm going to agree to disagree. Hey, lunch fight! Hey, lunch fight. Yeah. Uh, Darkwing well, Duck background. Um, yeah, so Darkwing Duck, super cool piece. Definitely get your hands on that one. Uh, another exclusive we've got is this Winnie the Pooh floral backpack. And it is so, so gorgeous. I love the colour palette on this one. It's all like pastel. It's super cute. So we've got like Tigger and Eeyore and... Who and flowers and it's just absolutely adorable. You can get a just looking at that. <laughs> <laughs> it is just such an adorable um, design. Um, definitely worth picking that one up because again, it is an exclusive, so not many of those around. Um, now let's move on to this really cool Captain America backpack. This is like a full size backpack. This it is, is like a I'm going to school and I love Captain America backpack. <laughs> that is exactly what it is. So this is the first full-size backpack we've got from Loungefly in quite a while. And man, they really went all out with this one. It is stylized like Captain America in the comics. It's bold, it's bright, it's American. It's just so amazing. And it also comes with a pin as well of the um, vibranium shield, which is really, really cool. Um, but yeah, definitely a back-to-school Ensemble, as Andy says, I reckon. Um, okay, talking, 
talking of more exclusives, we also have this one here. This is from Finding Nemo. So this is a scene backpack and it is based on the scene where the um, seagulls are kind of surrounded um, Marlon and Dory and um, the pelican whose name escapes me at the moment, Nigel, that's it. Um, and they kind of just like stare very intensely at them and then proceed to chase them. Um, so it's got um, mine written all over it just like in the scene and then you can see um, Marlin and Dory up here in Nigel's mouth as he flies them to safety. But yeah, it's a simple little design, but definitely like these scene moments are really well sought after. So if you love Finding Nemo, definitely worth getting your hands on that one. It's a great name for a pelican, Nigel. Yeah. Nigel. <laughs> Nigel. <laughs> it's a great name for an animal in general, in my opinion. Okay, last of the exclusives for today is of course the Tinkerbell cosplay backpack, which we are also giving away. It boasts these amazing holographic wings, which I love. You can see all colours of the rainbow in those. Um, we've got a pom-pom representing Tink's cute hair bun and then embroidered stars and everything. It's, of course, stylized like her outfit. And it is super, super bright when you take it out in the sun. It is just so vivid and so gorgeous. So um, if you're a fan of Tinkerbell, definitely get your hands on that one. And the last thing we've got, this isn't actually an 80th, um, celebration of Tweety Bird. So we'll go for the backpack first because it's amazing. This one also is so, so vivid out in daylight. It is absolutely amazing. The way it captures light, it's just insane. Anyway, so this is obviously stylized after Tweety. It's got cute little flush feet. It's got movable wings. It's got an embroidered face. It's soft to the touch. And it's got I Toto to a putty tap on the back, which is just just perfect. I just don't have words for that one. Um, so you have the backpack and then there's a kind of semi-matching wallet as well. So that's the 80th anniversary kind of collection of Tweety there. And uh, that's all we've got from Loungefly this week. Hey, um, Dean here wants to know whether we'll be getting Popsies in the future. Uh, if that's the Walmart collab, not at this point in time. Uh, but we don't know what's going to happen at, uh, down the line. We have asked, and at this point, it's purely a collab between those two companies, uh, with Funko, yeah, Funko and, and Walmart. Um, so, no. <laughs> uh, but we have got some cool stuff for Funko that we're not going to start on, because we've got so much to get through here, and we don't want to rush the good stuff. Sorry, Funko fans. Uh, Josh, we've got some... New replicas from uh, from Hasbro, Mandalorian. Yep. If you like Boba Fett, you watching the book of Boba Fett, Josh? Probably yeah. not. No. Books, books are boring. <laughs> <laughs> but what if it's but what if it's a book that's a show that you can watch and don't have to? Read? I don't know. His, his, his logic kind of stands. Yeah. He would not watch something that has a book in the title. So. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, this is the uh, the cosplay backpack. Got a little light up um, viewfinder. There and uh, it's two hundred twenty nine ninety nine. Josh, this is uh, this is pretty good helmet, right? That is pretty good. Good vision. Yep. <laughs> okay. A little ball at the top. Yep. A little dent. Things goes up and down. Radio, so you can talk. It's got a button, so you can just push the button on the side and it'll yeah. pop down. Which is. Ooh. Uh, but yeah, great for cosplay. If you're dressing up as both, but um, this is lightweight. Uh, you can wear it all day. Um, breathable. It's good. Way more breathable than masks like this. Okay. Uh, also from Hasbro, uh, and the, in the Black Series, as is the, uh, the Boba Fett helmet, we have the new Force FX Elite uh, Ray Skywalker lightsaber. So this thing is pretty good. Uh, my favorite, this is my favorite Force FX lightsaber because it's got uh, some, some nice material to actually hold in the handle. So it's not cool to the touch. It's actually nice, nice and, um, yeah. Comfy. Uh, so you got a little button here. You can force some little little flaps and things in there. And um, otherwise, uh, you swing it and it'll. What is it yellow? Uh, because the um, the elite ones change color, uh, and you switch it to turn it off, and it's orange flavored. <laughs> Worst flavor of any possible. Um, worst cherry. Flavor of ever. Cherry <laughs> is the worst. It is the worst. It is the worst. Come to the devil um, display base, um, and uh, you can grab that for four hundred and ninety nine ninety nine. 
which I think is pretty good. Um, from Hot Toys, Josh, we've got from some Hot Toys new pieces. We have, um, the Venom, the Battle Damage Thanos from Endgame, and the Harley Quinn. And uh, is that Hot Toys as well? Yeah, man, it's Tuscan Raider, dude. Oh man, Tuscan Raider is also Hot Toys. Hey Luke, can you give us your best Tuscan Raider again? Uh, oh my god. <laughs> um, so the. Where's my prices? Uh, Tuscan Raider is $399.99. Harley Quinn is $499.99. Thanos is $699.99. And Venom is uh, $630. Uh, so this is the battle damage version of Thanos uh, that has been previously released of the standard one. This is obviously during and post the um, the big battle at the end of Endgame. Oh, um, much. His, uh, <laughs> his arm has been torn apart a little bit by Scarlet Witch. Uh, he's bleeding, uh, he's dusty, his, uh, his blade's broken, um, but it's got a really nice star on the base. This thing is huge, it's one six scale, but because it's the size of Thanos, it looks more like a one four scale piece. Um, but definitely gonna make an impact in the collection. Uh, there is another hand that does have the Nano Gauntlet as well, so you can um, put that on him. Uh, Tuscan Raider, this is from uh, Star Wars The Mandalorian, but it um, will fit right into any Book of Boba Fett collection as well, so they're playing a big part in that series. Um, Sand Base, uh, it's got, uh, yeah, Tuscan Raider is part of the TMS collection, so the Television Master piece series. Venom, of course, from the uh, 2018, 2019? Yeah, yeah, anyway, the Tom Hardy one, um, where Tom Hardy plays uh, Eddie Brock and gets infected with the Venom symbiote. Yeah. And uh, this thing's crazy, all of these uh, little tendrils bend, um, heaps of interchangeable um, hand pieces, uh, head pieces, tongue pieces. Um, the base is really nice, it's got a nice little mirror finish on that. Um, but really, 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 really detailed. And Bianca, your thoughts on this because you, you love all things Spider Man. Oh, look, I'm obsessed with it. Like, the amount of detail on it is incredible. Like, it's just hulking and it just captures um, the way Venom actually looks in the film. Like, the texture and the shine to it is just so cool. It's and, like, like, I'm just obsessed with like the details in the teeth and like the eyes. As well. The cloudiness here is really, really cool. Yeah. I'm just going to point out the 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 arms and the chest are covered in like a PVC like finish, so they're really kind of rubbery and skin sinewy texture. It's um it's interesting. Mm. Stuff. It Luke really doesn't get feel. Like yeah, it. I do. Oh, if you want to touch any of the belly button, I found oh. that the most uncomfortable. Spot. Oh yeah, yeah. why is it softer there? I think there's a bend right <laughs> under it, but it was yeah. Oh. It's real squishy. Oh, there, right there, right yeah. in there. No, so but you can like literally give you the heebie jeebies. Yeah, right? <laughs> anyway, what about the tongue? Um, Surely the tongue is that's what. Well, no, that's hard. This yeah. band, Luke. There's yeah, I saw that. I'm impressed with that. I feel like this is a good example. Just, you know, you should always ask, ask for consent. Um, <laughs> <laughs> really, really grabbing that. These look like licorice. Old venom here. Uh, they do, but don't eat them. Uh, anyway, that's, um, <laughs> that's the Venom. Also, we have Harley Quinn from. I don't even know which game this one is. It's part of the Arkham, Arkham, Arkham? Arkham Knight. Yeah, I can know. So Harley's got a bunch of accessories, bunch of guns, baseball bat, um, uh, cloth skirt, I think, or is it sculpted? No, it's cloth skirt. Um, uh, just going yeah, the dice that moves. Bunch of bunch of cool stuff. So if you're a fan of those that game series, definitely, uh, definitely grab one for your collection. Yeah. Um, that's it from Hot Toys today. We've got. Some some sideshow. Sideshow side collectibles. Scales, Boy, do we have some sideshow collectibles. One six scale. While we're on one six scale, we C3PO. do have C three PO and Gambit. So C three PO three hundred and seventy dollars, and Gambit is four hundred and twenty. Uh, I'm a big fan of this Gambit statue. Obviously, sideshow's uh, range of comic book X Men stuff is really um, really taken off. Big uh, range. Big range. Uh, the one six scale is really cool. Gambit, of course, an iconic character. Definitely had to get. Enough representation, I think, in the merchandise as uh, as he has because he's a limited limited time in the film series. What yeah, is his power? He basically is really good. Yeah. He seems so, to always be just shooting cards. Cards. Like <laughs> chance. I think so it's just manipulating. No. no. You sure? Do you yeah. actually know, or are you just? Yeah, yeah. He does <laughs> cards. Yeah. I've seen, have you not seen the Wolverine movie? Yeah. He's really good at cards. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna use that as an example of X Men. No, it's not a world. Yeah, the Wolverine movie, where it shows yeah, Wolverine Origins. 
Is that, yeah, that's is the, that the one with Deadpool? X Men Origins Wolverine. That's yeah, that's the, the best yeah, one. one with, that's yeah, the best yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not. That's the best one. That's the best superhero movie. But yeah, yeah, he's got a <laughs> um, He's got his stuff, and he's got his card throwing ability. <laughs> uh, we got the, Kevin Knight wants to know how we get on the wheel. You just, well, Kevin Knight, you, you've, you've just done it. You've done it. You've just asked the question, and Luke's noticed you, and maybe Luke will write your name on the wheel. Um, as an example of how to do it, maybe this is good, maybe this is good. <laughs> All you need to do is just comment. Get it, get amongst it. Get amongst it, Kevin Knight. Land up on the wheel. You might. Luke's just <laughs> picking him at random. Well, I have noticed you now, so... <laughs> Your name's already just Kevin. Keep coming up. So keep coming, Kevin. Um, yeah, so 2 to 6 hours. The c 3 viewers are returning on. Uh, it's uh, one of the classic, classic ones that they keep remaking. You can turn his eyes on with a little touch of the head. Uh, so, a cool. little live action there. Um, and uh, yeah, both uh, both really, really cool figures that uh, made by Star Trek Collectibles. A couple of new statues from Sideshow as well. We've got the Chris Sanders Pumpkin Witch, um, part of the Happy Hello Queens uh, series. This is actually, <laughs> this is prompting my question of the week. All right, Josh, what's the question, question of the week? week? Viewers, you say viewers. that like it's a thing. No, I'm making it a thing. I'm making it a thing. <laughs> oh, okay, you yeah, yeah, yeah. think. What is the superior animal? Cat or dog? Cat. We want to know your thoughts in the comments. Cat or dog? What is the superior animal? Uh, I think, from in a in, a, in, in like a sense of iconography, I, I prefer like cat, but um, they're kind of dicks. So I'm just going to go with dogs. I love dogs. Dogs are my favorite animal, apart from. The only animal I'd rather have as a pet would be a capuchin monkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's very I specific. love those. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, no, no, chimp's too big and they can rip your arms off. Yeah, they would. And so they they would it, they would What's a capuchin? Your arms is that like a one for friends? They, they, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the chimp will start at your face and your genitals. Yeah. 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 Whereas a soft is not. With yeah, the capuchin. I just like to have one. Just start at your eyes. Set up, yeah. some, set up some ropes and stuff. Or just swing around on. Yeah. <laughs> but the question stands: cats or dogs? I want to know your thoughts in the comments. <laughs> All right. Well, this is uh, this is a, an original piece by Chris Sanders, um, and uh, I really like it. It's really kind of like uh, illustrative. Uh, you got a cat reaching for a squirrel that's hiding in the pumpkin. Yeah. Um, dogs wouldn't want to attack the squirrel. She's uh, the <laughs> the Hullet Queen here. The other uh, pumpkin witch. She's uh, she's got some tights and um, and some 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 green blue teal hair and. Little, uh, little witch hat on, yeah. but uh, really stylized, really nice piece. It is uh, $449, um, and uh, just it doesn't, you'll break it. Um, uh, and I think it's really cool. The other piece that we've got here from Saito is the Mandalorian, one uh, quarter scale Better than books. Book statue. Better than books. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obsessed with this whole piece, it just looks absolutely amazing. It's the, it's the most dynamic piece I think Sarge has potentially done because the hover frame is only connected via the back of the cape, so it looks from most oh. angles like it's just it's suspended in midair. They haven't put a pole underneath, they haven't done yeah, anything that's... other than clip it onto the cape. That's all sculpted. Yeah. It's so cool. Very cool. Um, so Can you it's... take his gun out? No, I don't think so. Um, but uh, it's based after Series 1 Mando, so he doesn't have his full Beskar armor um, in this. But uh, it's, it's, it's really great, really, really dynamic from any angle you're looking at it. It looks really good. You can add it to your collection for uh, $1,000. Um, and I suggest you get on that quick because they are selling very quickly. Okay, um, Josh, I've um, got an yeah. interesting one for you, mate, with, yeah. from Matthew Cassidy. Um, Shoot, Matthew. They've gone pro cats, but. Yeah. Um, uh, because they know when you're feeling up or down, but also their cat has made friends with a pig next door. <gasps> with a pig. Stop. How do you feel about like that? I, Cats and pigs. I do like that. Being I best like friends. That. Yeah. But Dog, dogs know when yeah. you're feeling up and down. Dogs know when you're feeling up and down as well. But you do get some points for the pig next door. <laughs> you do. Because cats, they're normally just like hanging around by themselves and things like that. But if your cat's mates with the pigs next door. I don't see Jimmy pictures. <laughs> If you've got any pictures of that, I would like to see some pictures in the feed as well. Well, um, yeah, I don't know if you can do that, but sure. I want to see that. Are we opening that door? 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we might Speaking not of doors opening, though. Yeah. Uh, Will's here. It's handsome, Will. <laughs> Will, we've got some records. Uh, you're going to tell us about them. Uh, Will, how, how, how has your month been? How's how <laughs> how's well, life? What about cats or dogs? Dogs, like, by yeah. so much of a margin. But I'm pretty biased because I'm allergic to cats. So... Nah, yeah, you don't count then. <laughs> I don't know. Unless you can engage with both species, you, yeah. you can't really be. Mm. You've only checked it was cats. Yeah. Yeah. Real That's the worst kind. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I've been good, Andy. I um, I've been laying low king, listening to a lot of records, and now I'm back with a few nice picks. But I know these guys are busy, so maybe not as many as no, other No, we're actually going all right now. Okay. Here we go. Okay. You can stretch it out. Here you go. Here you go. A little bit stretch, stretch. stretch. Seemed like a busy week, but uh, oh, yeah. I guess, guess we're going through it fast. Um, anyway, starting us off, Interstellar, awesome soundtrack, awesome movie, Hans Zimmer. Long movie. Um, long movie. Long movie. Long movie, but great movie. Awesome visuals all throughout, really great acting performances. Um, yeah, I really like the movie and it's got a really epic soundtrack. Hans Zimmer, I think he won a Grammy or some sort of award for it. Maybe someone can correct me on that in the comments. Yeah, they tend to win um, But yeah, yeah, every <laughs> Hans Zimmer. Oscars. Get win Oscars. something, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah win Oscars. Well done, Hans. But yeah, yeah, it was an awesome soundtrack. Um, really love it, really love the movie. Definitely recommend checking it out. Um, next up, Return of Godzilla. So this was sort of the first movie of the second phase of Godzilla films. Um, I think it came out in 1985, um, but it follows the Showa era where a new director and new writers took over. Um, but yeah, this is an awesome soundtrack from an awesome Godzilla movie, probably one of the best Godzilla movies there ever was. And it comes with a pop-up in the middle. We don't have an open unit to show you guys, but basically oh, when you it. open oh. the gate vault, there's a uh, there's a cool pop up. It features Godzilla himself, and he's sort of attacking a city. Is this um, old black and white Godzilla? No, I think that was the first color one actually. Was it old though? It's old. Well, it's yeah. the end. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, awesome movie, awesome soundtrack, very orchestral. I really like it. Um, speaking of awesome soundtracks, Kubo and the Two Strings, a really cool film by a film studio called Blacker. I like this one. <laughs> And you like this one? Album. Yeah. It's got a cover of. Uh, While my guitar gently weeps. Yeah, by. Uh, Richard Schweikert, was it? Oh, I think that sounds right. Yeah, um, I know the original is George Harrison, but. Anyway, um, it's an incredible film. If you like, uh, if you haven't seen this film, go watch it. It's just. It's the tits. Yeah, it's an awesome film. I really enjoyed <laughs> it as well. The tits. <laughs> um, it is very good. Is. Oh, yeah, Regina Spector. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right now. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it's an awesome film, awesome film studio, but yeah, they do really cool soundtracks as well. Um, Dario Marilyn, Marion Ellie, um, yeah, he did a really great job with this one. Next up. I bet you're excited about this one. Yeah, I've got one of these at home. Um, this is actually a restock. I'm not sure if I bought it in the last time, but I have a feeling I didn't because we have very low numbers of it, but we've gotten a few more now. One of my favorite games of all time, Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake. Um, yeah, really awesome game with a really awesome soundtrack. Um, but now you can own it on vinyl with really awesome artwork from Mondo. Um, but yeah, with a little exclamation mark above the head. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so it's, uh, it's one of the more iconic parts of the franchise. Um, I'm glad they included it on the cover, but unfortunately it doesn't appear anywhere in the audio. Um, but yeah, yeah, really awesome. Great video game series. Do you want to check it out, Josh? Yeah, I haven't played <laughs> the game, but I just know that you are. There's no way Josh can handle that. Yeah. <laughs> he can definitely play five. Like Phantom Bane. Oh, no, what? I tried to play that. that really? Was, the opening bit was like four hours long. I put it, <laughs> like when, you couldn't, when you couldn't skip the opening cutscene, I wasn't about it. I don't like games that make you watch but the cutscenes. But it becomes cut interactive. Oh my God. Does it play? Yeah. No, it just was... Don't ask me stealth face. Can you handle stealth face? No, five isn't um, though. He needs to get out there blazing. I can't. You, <laughs> you don't have to feel like he's like stealth. one under each arm, no down the slights. I, mean, just I don't know, you guys, I think you give me too much credit. You put it in an easy mode and just walk down the room. I can't, no, I, I can't even play games as it is. I sit there for like 10 minutes and I'm like, alright, oh, what's next? Staring at the floor. Yeah. Like yeah. Uh, but no, the, the original ones were very stealth based. Um, you had to be tactical. But yeah, it's an awesome game, game tactical. franchise. Something I've enjoyed basically my entire life. Um, and I had a chance to meet the voice actor in one of the Supernovas. Which was really Ooh! Awesome. Yeah, got my copy of Metal Gear Solid 1 signed by him. It was real cool. Will's quite, like, he's oddly nerdy. He's, like, really into Metal Gear. Yeah. I, um, I grew nice. up on Metal Gear. Like, Snake's voice actor? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I can't remember his name, actually. Um, Snake, Will. What is his name? I can picture his face, but I can't remember his name. He did Snake in Metal Gear 1, 3, 4, I think. What about Smash Brothers? Yeah, what about Smash yeah, Brothers? Smash Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Was it like a, an 
Dell sort of situation where like the voice like the voice isn't like his act he put voice it on. is nothing like no, the whole no, deal. His real voice wasn't exactly like him. Uh David Hayter, that's his name. Um but he put it on for the yeah, signing. Yeah. Like he did the impression. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, he did it really awesome and he was really friendly like there was no one else there so I got to chat to him for like 10 minutes nice so, so yeah he's a really good guy sorry just can't help with sad <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah true flies <laughs> <laughs> uh, all the way out here no one comes to see him like, well oh, Dave gotta go no please <laughs> stay it was only 60 bucks and oh like, okay like, there's not that many people out there who want to pay that kind of money to meet Dave Hader but well, all the way out here he made 60 bucks <laughs> yeah and it was in like Perth or something right. so it wasn't uh, like but yeah, anyway, that was an awesome experience, so I really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, moving forward, Flame Runner, um, Black Lotus, which is an adaptation, an animated ab- adaptation from Adult Swim of the Blade Runner franchise. Um, it's set much further into the future, I think another 50 years or 30 years after the Blade Runner 2049 film. That film was um, so boring. Oh, it was so boring. You just have no attention span. Uh-huh. You couldn't even get through that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I seriously think that's one of the best movies ever made. I love that movie. Blade Runner 2049. Yeah. It's so boring. What about the original? Have you seen the original? Yeah, it's so boring as well. I think Amy likes like them. Jabba. Oh. Try, try Jackass. <laughs> 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 Is that a film or a movie, Josh? Uh, it's, a, it's like... It's little, a TV series you know, that got made into a, a bunch of little, terrible it's films. It's good because they do the pranks, and the pranks are like three minutes each. Yeah. So it keeps you constantly like engaged. Change, change your settings, <laughs> change your pranks, change your people doing the things. Jackass 4 is coming out, so I'm so excited for it. Yeah. No, no, no like three act structure, but like. <sighs> no cause and effect. Well, low cause and effect, but <laughs> yeah. no, uh, no story driven. Yeah, no, I'm going to try, try to go see Jackass 4 at the IMAX in Melbourne. I mean, IMAX? They do that. No, they probably would do that. Um, Just blame the records being on screen for so long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I probably should have moved. It's <laughs> yeah, it's by Mondo. Um, it's on neon green vinyl. Neon green vinyl. Um, but yeah, it's it's a it's a regarded a well regarded um film. That's like a compilation of songs on the soundtrack. So if you liked the songs themselves that appeared, um, this is the soundtrack for you. Um, last but not least, um, I picked an album that isn't actually a soundtrack, and that's Hayden Power Currents, one of my favorite albums of all time. It's a start to finish awesome psychedelic rock experience. Um. Kevin Parker, aka Sam Parler, this is probably his masterpiece album in my opinion. Um, I think it's his third album, it came out in like 2014, 15, um, somewhere around there. But yeah, I feel like he really honed in on his craft with this release and he's come through with one of the greatest albums that is probably a staple for psych rock collections. Um, but yeah, that's basically all my records for today. Um, so if anyone has any other questions or anything about them, then I'll be here for another moment to answer them. But other than Bring, that, swing them in. We'll be waiting. Right now. Oh, Ask us some questions. Don't objectify him. Nothing? All right. Thanks, Thanks so We'll guys. catch you next week with yeah. another week in review. Never okay. ask us about records again. ECS pop culture, shop pop culture. No, they're different now. Collective Premium collectible studio. They rebranded, they kept the letters, they changed the name, it makes no sense anymore, but their, their, their statue is still looking good. Part of their WWF line? What's well, WWE? Is it WWE? I thought it was WWF because it's older. Why? Wow, it's WWE. Like they, they're not that wrestling. Anymore. Wrestling line. Um, <laughs> it's the Undertaker, the quarter scale uh, Undertaker. Pre. This is pre me like, watching wrestling. This is like early nineties. Yes, yeah, so it's WWF, right? Yeah, it's like early nineties. It is, yeah. but it's like Ministry of Darkness Undertaker, which is like one of the coolest birthday presents you can get. Yeah, it's like Ministry of Darkness Undertaker. Yeah, it's like Ministry of Darkness Undertaker, which is like one of the coolest versions of Taker. I remember Leotard Undertaker. That's what I remember. I remember <laughs> Limp Biscuit Rollin Undertaker. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, brilliant. Uh, it's the Undertaker, he's quarter scale, he's got a suit on, pretty sick piece, they've been doing quite a few um, wrestling ones. Yeah, they've done the Rock, they've done Ric Flair, they've done yeah. and they're really working through like Attitude Era and like the classic yeah. ones in the 80s, so, so um, if you're a fan, pick it up, Andy, how much is it? Yeah, it is a thousand dollars. There's also dollars. a SummerSlam variant um, based on his appearance in SummerSlam, I think 96 or one of those years. That's a really big tie. Yeah. He's a really big guy. Mm. He is a big guy. You, you, you could have put a normal tie on him. He's from <laughs> Death Valley. It's like tiny. <laughs> it is. It's from Death Valley. It's from Death Valley. Imagine putting that tie on Andy. <laughs> now it's like a normal tie. You're more like an apron. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So we got um, some stuff from my studios in. Everybody loves my studios. 
you guys Ooh, like the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, well check this out. Um, the pops that come out. Um, $230 you get this awesome Willy Wonka. It's really um, cool that they're doing all the movies like this. Yeah. That's cool, because normally normally a lot of it's like superheroes and it is. Mandalorian and all stuff like that, so it's really cool to see they're giving a nod to some good old cinema. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be decent like this of Gene Wilder and the Oompa Loompas are there and the, the chocolate the bar. Chocolate River and he's got a Wonka bar. And the the Wonka bar is actually really good. So there's actually a lot going on here. There's a yeah. lot happening. Um I like this piece. Um Yeah, I bet you do. I do. Is it the colours? Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's good. Yeah. Um <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, also from my studios, uh, we've got uh, Ron Weasley on the chest board. Um, it's five hundred dollars, and it's Ron on a horse uh, on a chest board. Got a question about the scene? Yeah. Did they shrink them to size yeah, as magic, or yeah. was the board big? It was a big board. Big. Or was it a small room? Big board. Big. It was a big board. Big. He, he was like a, a, a like an eight year old child, mm. and um, the board was. The size of the yeah, but I'm saying when they go into the room, do they shrink because of magic and no, it's just a normal chessboard? Because earlier in that movie, there's magic chess... works in it. I've watched these movies now. Earlier in the movie, there's a chessboard, and the same thing happens where they, they smash up the chess pieces. So is it just a small chessboard where they shrink to size? Because you know it's all about magic in those movies. Hogwarts. I, I think it's undisclosed for me. I don't think anyone's worried about. Yeah. Thanks you know, for the sensible answer, Luke. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, five hundred dollars. Really detailed. Really good. Um, and uh, for my few, we've also got the Thor statue from Avengers Endgame. It's the ultimate version. He's got Stormbreaker. He's got the ocean and the uh, and all <laughs> <Yolnick. laughs> that. And uh, he's ready for action. He's going to take on Thanos. Um, it's good. It's uh, it's two hundred fifty dollars. And that's good. <laughs> you got nothing to add to that? No, you covered it. Diamond Select. Diamond Select Toys. Bianca, yeah, this crow, PVC statue. Oh, I'm obsessed mm -hmm. with it. Um, that's one of my all-time favourite movies, and they've done an incredible likeness on Eric Draven, just on top of the rooftop. So they've even got um, some smoke going there, and it's just, it's such a beautiful piece. I may have purchased one. <gasps> <laughs> Highly recommend. You, you don't know the price, but Andy yeah, does. Yeah, you, you can purchase one for um, for ninety dollars, which is cool. Yeah. Um, TST are doing a lot of the crow stuff at the moment. Um, we've had some action figures, had some boss, um, had a bunch of stuff coming there. Like, in fact, the crow as a license is really getting um, uh, broadened. Uh, Sideshow has picked up it now. There's some premium format stuff coming out. So, there's, if you're a crow fan, now is the perfect time to be excited about them because heaps of product is coming your yeah, way, okay. which is cool. So from DST, we've got a new PDC Marvel series. This is the Versus series. So each um, each character is in a fighting pose, and you can put them in any um, kind of arrangement to create your own little battle scenes. Uh, we've just got the Vision, and we've got Wolverine in. Uh, Vision's really great. Uh, he's phasing through the wall there. Ooh. That's so cool. Uh, and Wolverine, you know, classic, classic Wolvie. <laughs> but his claws, he's, he's mad. Ready to do some snick, you snick snick, or snicky snack. Uh, you, they're both ninety dollars each. Um, you can add them to your collection. You can find him. Um, and uh, yeah, keep your eye out for the verses line. Uh, they're all the verses and product titles on the website. But um, yeah, uh, it, it's it's going to be quite a a, uh, a fun series for people who like creating little dioramas. Um, so that is all we've got from DST and Josh. This is this is yes. We got we got trading cards in. So um, we sold out quite a lot of them. Trading cards don't stick around for long. So if you are even remotely interested in football or baseball or WWE or to WWF or trading cards, get it now. So we've got the um, Don Ross Panini football. Um, this is the blaster box. I think this is part of the optics. Um, 88 cards in here, you kind of get a little bit more chances for your inserts and things like that. In this box, you'll encounter, um, doesn't say, it, normally it does. Normally it says how many inserts and things like that. We also have the um, Mosaic uh, MLB training cards by Panini as well. Find two retail exclusive Mosaic green parallels in this box. Um, we have the 
Don Ross, uh, NFL Fat Packs. You're excited about the Fat Packs. I'm excited about the Fat Packs because I like the quantity that you get out of the Fat Packs, especially out of the um, the display boxes. The blaster boxes are cool for your kind of inserts and things like that. What but is the quantity, Josh? What's an insert? It's like, it's like, <laughs> like, a, like extra. You get like your card. base cards and then you get like inserted like holographic cards or like okay. cards. Um, in here there is 360 cards. So Ooh. one fat pack has 30 cards in it. This comes with 12 fat packs. So if you're really looking to boost your collection and kind of, I don't know, play your hand at the... Um, fatten it up a bit. Fatten it up a bit. And if you're looking to play your hand at the, the odds game, like the per cards, yeah. this is this is the way to go. So um, Josh, I'll just touch on some of those prices. Uh, so the fat pack is $220. The blaster the, the, boxes. So the, the whole booster, 220 The uh, The blaster boxes are each $60. They're both $60. Yeah. Um, and then we also have something pretty new. So we've got a Topps Heritage line, uh, WWE cards. So these are kind of, um, they've just come in, but they are I read this style. as trading cards to the best trading card company. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Um, so there is, they're kind of stylized to cards that you would have got in the 90s. I think that's why you'd like them. Why? The 90s? Yeah, the 90s. So they're kind of, like you can see that there, like, like, like Smackdown. It's got Big E and Booker T, but they look like the 90s. This is pretty exciting. Um, it's something new anyway. How I don't think they're they? from the 90s. I think they're the new uh, current roster people in this style. Oh, style as a heritage thing. Um, so WWE Heritage, you can get a full seal uh, display like that for uh, $230, or you can grab an individual um, uh, pack of cards for uh, $10 each. Moving on, we got a new product, which we're all pretty excited about, right? So we got the Jersey Fusion. Jersey Fusion. So these essentially are a. These are a this, premium product. Yeah, they're a premium product. In this pretty sweet packaging with a uh, magnet at the bottom, you get one trading card. But the catch is, you open it up, you get the trading card, which is mounted in here. And then you also get a. So you get a game worn swatch or a game worn patch. This is a game worn patch. Um, which so is the cut up jerseys. jerseys and they've cut it all up and they've put individual pieces of those game worn jerseys in uh, alongside uh, trading cards of that player. Yeah. Um, of any any range, it could be Panini, it could be Tops, it could be dating back to anything. Yeah. They've got cards from the 60s onwards, um, that original cards that are being pieced together with original pieces of cloth from. From yeah, the jersey. Yeah. That's pretty there's cool. a QR code or something too, isn't it? Yeah, so there's a co you get a code each time. Um, or you get a bonus. so there's the QR code will authenticate the jersey. And you can look and at the information the, about when it was worn. You get a bonus card which will kind of give you some money off your next purchase through sports cards or it'll I don't know, give you a free card. Um, but yeah, as Andy touched on, there's a lot of um so like this here is a I think this is a panini card. Tops card. Um, but you've got your chance at your numbered cards as well. So this is a 30 or 50 Clayton Kershaw uh, game used patch card, but there's ones of ones in there. There's one, of oh, there's lots of tens and things like that as yeah. well. Uh, and the real kind of hunt is for the, uh, like the logos of like NFL. And yeah. They've, they've cut them very delicately so that yeah. actually makes sense. Um, um, they're like, super um, premium products. Um, we, they, uh, we, we did, we broke this one open. So you, yeah, you get a full set, uh, which is what, 12 cards, eight cards, eight yeah, cards? eight cards. Uh, for $700. Um, otherwise you can get an individual card for 80, um, for $80. $80. So it is a lock in the drawer as to what you get. We opened this up, we got some real winners, I think. We did. Grippy Jr. We got um, two, two numbered cards. We got a Kevin Garnett out of 50. We got a Clayton Kershaw out of 50 as well, which is some pretty good hits. Um, couple of patches. Couple of swatches, yeah. Um, but Charles yeah. Barkley in there. Charles Barkley, mm -hmm. but yeah, they so they go across a couple of different sports as well. It's yeah. like MLB, basketball, um, NFL. NFL. There's also golf in there, I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, seventy nine ninety nine each. Uh, I don't think they're gonna last long. No, uh, and we're gonna give one away. We are gonna give one away. We're giving away Ken Ken Griffey Jr. Yeah. You can. You can. You can. You can prop it. There we go. Prop it up on our shelf. So we've given away that Ken Griffey Jr. Um, in order to go on the draw to win, you need to answer this question. Uh, the question is... That's not how this is going. Yes, it is. Because we may have already put people on the wheel. But it doesn't matter. 
Would you like to win the Ken Griffey Jr. card? Oh my nice. nice. god. <laughs> <laughs> the worst, worst that's the worst. <laughs> um, anyway, that's what we've got for cards. Uh, from Jada, uh, we've got a couple new diecast Batmobile replicas from the upcoming film, The Spoilers. Batman. Spoilers. Yeah, he has a Batmobile. He does, and it's not a traditional Batmobile, it's like a Mustang. Yeah. Um, so, we've got three versions of the same Batmobile, it does come with a little diecast Batman. Uh, you got 118 scale for $90, you got 124 scale for 50 and you've got 130 uh, second scale for um, $17. The larger one is cool, it does feature lights, so I'll just demonstrate. You just reach the little pin and all the poles here, and oh boy, what's gonna happen? Pull the door and look at that, the little lights. Um, so, yeah. Jada, Jada, Yada, however you want to say it, but they're, they're producing better. Yada, yada, yada. They're, they're, they're the best die cast uh, cars out in the market at the moment. And you talk about this. Yes, it's Rurin from Godzilla. And it's from Star X Toys. And you like Star X Toys. Of, uh, it's made of vinyl, uh, and it's very delicately balanced on its face. So if you do pick one up, just be mindful that it is um, a bit of a workaround to get it to sit correctly. But uh, $300 uh, for a for a, for a statue uh, or a figure that size is a great deal. Um, and if you like Godzilla stuff, uh, you better get in quick because Rodan stuff in particular, it just it doesn't stay around for long. So it looks cool. It's legit. Uh, Star Wars is doing some great things on the monsters. They've got the whole Ray Harry Mousen line. Um, we've got a bunch of stuff with Planet of the Apes. Uh, and uh, the Godzilla stuff is top tier as well. So uh, definitely check out what Star Wars toys are doing because they're doing what I think the best monster stuff going around. Going around, in yes, a, in its professional opinion. In my professional opinion, it's someone who professionally sells this stuff. <laughs> and buys it. Sorry? And buys it. Let's talk about NECA, Andy. We've got some NECA stuff. We've got some NECA stuff. We've got some of the, let's start with the I horror think stuff. All of these are returning. I don't think that any of them are new, but. Um, no, they are returning. Do the one to highlight them. So we've got uh, Friday the 13th, uh, we've got Jason Borges from Part 3 3D. Uh, we've got, um, uh, what's it called? The oh, like, lenticular. Lenticular. <laughs> Mm. Sorry, Josh, you're gonna run. Don't think it's lenticular. <laughs> um, lenticular cover opens up. There you go, Jason Borg. He's got all his um, all his uh, his tools from uh, Friday the Thirteenth Part Three, which is of course the film where he first gets his mask. That's good. I um, sorry, that's good. All, the, <laughs> all of these neck figures are uh, seventy dollars. Um, also from um, Scream, we've got Ghostface. Um, we've got three, uh, four different masks. There you got Queen. You've got Dirty, you've got Blood Splatter, and you've got Blow in the Dark. Uh, he is, uh, he features a real fabric um, gown, and uh, he's got a bunch of knives and sides and a bunch of cool stuff. So this is technically licensed under the Ghostface brand, which was the original costume, um, but uh, it features everything you need to get your whole uh, Scream set up. Uh, good to go in time for, what, Scream 5 in the afternoon now? Just coming out? No idea, man. Oh, damn. Tough diggity. Uh, Scream's not your jam, then Home Alone might be. We've got three new, uh... Have you seen the theory that he grew up in Jigsaw? Kevin McAllister. Yeah, grew up in Jigsaw. <laughs> Did you write this? Is that <laughs> <actual>? No, <laughs> it's not a fan theory. theory. No, it's an actual theory that he grew up in Jigsaw because he just got so obsessed with the traps that he just couldn't... Couldn't, couldn't do let it, it go. He had, had to chase that high and it got worse every time. Well, anyway, um, Kevin. my... I'm not sure about that, Josh. Um, <laughs> but what I'm sure about is that these are great. They we sold out very quickly once we got them in a couple of years ago, so they're back now. Uh, you've got Kevin and Mark and Harry. Uh, they're all in the uh, the clothed um, Amigo style mm -hmm. that Necker are, are doing, um, and uh, these are these are really great. So um, they might be the last time they actually run them. So if you're a fan of the, the films and you don't own these, definitely definitely grab them. Um, we got. Rick and Morty books. We've got a new book. Didn't we did. that one though. No, we've got a Rick and Morty book. It's kind of like a collection of all the uh, the smaller comic books. Yep. So this is book one. It actually talks. Yeah, I like that. Um, and then yeah, it's just kind of those, like. Oh my God. It's got the um all the kind of first couple of comics. It's book one. I think they've done a couple of books now. They're up to like maybe book four. Um, but I think it's around. Seventy nine ninety nine. It's uh, it's around a price. Around a price. Um, let's talk about Funko. Yeah, we're talk about the, to it. Let's talk about the vinyl golds first. Josh, you love vinyl golds. I do. I'm pretty excited about vinyl golds because I like to see Funko 
pay more attention to sports people because that's what I like. Um, we've got Kawhi Leonard from the Clippers and the... Uh, I'll say ultimate. The book is uh, 7999. Hey, just... I said price. that. That's a price that was probably sent to some other thing in the show. So I said the that. Price, the price I was might right. Be, might be on the, one of these. I was right. I was right. I said that. We've got okay. Steph bucks. Curry and we've also got James Harden who I took out the box much to Andy's dismay just so that you could have a bit of a closer yeah, look. Yeah, <laughs> Just so you could have a bit I of a closer look. Of them. It's <laughs> definitely not. I definitely would recommend taking these out of the packaging. They're very cool, very stylized. They all have really long socks and very big shoes. Um, and those are, how much are they, Andy? How much yeah, are they? didn't run down. Oh yeah, I said I was going to price them. Yeah, you did, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Josh. Um, I want to say they are nineteen ninety nine. I want to say, or maybe... Yeah, they might be. Maybe $24.99? I'm trying to really mad dash the fight for you. $19.99, what a roll. Um, we've got some pop pens as well. We've got Beast Boy from Teen Titans Go, as well as Raven, Starfire, Robin, and Cyborg. Um, and then we've got some Goonies ones. That's Chunk, Data, Mikey, and Sloth. That would have definitely been Andy. It's got the freckles in the hair for it. Um, and they are $29.99. Twenty six ninety nine. Twenty six ninety nine. One of those two. Um, we've got some pop deluxes that are right in front of Andy. Let's talk about those. Tika, uh, special edition, uh, Queen of Hearts, uh, here at the Mad Hatter. At the Mad, at the Mad Tea Party attraction in Disneyland, or Disney World. What's up with the box? It's very, very, it's very um, um, that box isn't as shiny as the other boxes. It looks like it's got like a bit of a matte. No, I don't think it's no, shiny. No, down the bottom. It's quite shiny. It's like matte, right? It's matte there, but then yeah. you've got the shininess on the 50. That's what the highlight like there. Embossed. Um, little, nice little... It's, it's a really sparkly box, and they've really done a nice thing to kind of celebrate the 50 years. Uh, there's a whole series of um, Walt Disney World anniversary stuff that's actually coming out. And I recommend checking it out because it's really cool. This is part of the diorama set. So yes. it's Ginny, Wee Ginny Weasley with Flourish and Blots. Yep. So um, it's, it's part of, I think they make up like the, the Harry Potter street, right? Yeah. Yeah, Diagonally. Yeah. Diagonally. Uh, so they each come in a different shop. Uh, Flour Flourish and Blots. Ginny Weasley. Um, check it out. Josh. Yeah, I'm excited about this. We've got the Rocky 45th anniversary pop vinyls that finally arrived. Uh, we also got a. Funko Shop, pop culture exclusive. Yeah, it's from Rocky uh, 2. From Rocky 2. He's chasing the, he's chasing chasing the, the chicken. He's chasing the chicken. From that scene where he's, he's no good when he starts, but it just shows if you put your mind to something and you really work hard at it, you're going to achieve it. And that's, yeah. He chases the chicken at the end of the montage. Hey, look, look, what I've got to chase chicken for. Don't, don't do that. Um, and then there's Rocky Balboa from the end of his fight and then Rocky 2 where he's punching on with Apollo Creed. I don't know, it might have been Rocky 1. Uh, we also have a specialty series, Rocky Balboa, that's definitely from Rocky 3. Um, and then there's Apollo Creed himself and the USA shorts down there at the bottom. Um, we've got a bundle. Sure. We do. We've got a bundle. So they're $19.99 each by the... Um, those three, I think, are in Yeah, so those three will be $19.90 each or $50 in a bundle. And then we've got... that for $24.99 or you can get it uh, for $59.99 in a mystery bundle. You can. Um, you can. Sort after items. Collect friendly. Good price. We've got some Batman. The, the Batman. The, the Batman. movie. The movie that hasn't come out yet. If you don't want the spoilers, Look turn, away, turn now. away now. Here's characters that are pre release, pre film marketing. Confirmed. So, Selena Kyle as Catwoman. Uh, oh, sorry, spoiler. She doesn't say Catwoman book. Uh, we got Selena Kyle. There's a chase piece uh, where she's unmasked. Uh, you also got Oswald Cobblepot uh, from Penguin. Um, he, and there's a chase piece option with him as well. Where he uh, doesn't have a trench coat on. Where he doesn't on. have a trench coat, he's got his shirt off. Uh, Colin Farrell. Uh, hey, Josh, how do chase pieces work? Uh, basically, for the most part, they are one and six. So it's a little bit of a roll on the dice. You know, if you roll the dice, you might land on a six three times in a row, or you might not land on a six at all. That's why I say it's a roll of the dice. Basically, you just need to purchase the base product. There'll be a little thing in the listing that says, hey, you have a chance of winning a chase. Yeah. Or so if you, if you, if you try and purchase this Selena car, you might get this Selena car. And if you get this Selena car, you have to keep that Selena car. If you get this Selena car, you have to keep this Selena car. Can't ask for it, it's all random, part of the fun. Yep. Um, it's why it's called a chase. You gotta chase them. Yep. Uh, awesome stuff. Uh, we've got some large pieces from the Batman that have come out. We've got the 10 inch Batman. We've got Batman in a Batmobile and a pop ride. And we've got Selena on a motorcycle and a pop ride. Um, they are prices. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
Uh, we got the new keychains, uh, the Selena Carl Batman, and the Riddler. Boy, I'm excited to see Paul Dano as a Riddler. This is, you know, Hot Dan is going to be the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Paul Dano, this generation's greatest actor, and I'll fight anyone who challenges that statement. Okay, uh, Johnny Knoxville. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, we got some mainline ones as well. We got uh, some uh, special editions. We got uh, Batman um, from the Batman and Riddler. Here he is. Paul Dano as a Riddler. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I can't even. Oh, the movie's not even out yet. You don't even know if it's going to be good. Paul Dano in any movie is the greatest thing of all time. It's not. He's weird um, looking. <laughs> uh, Bruce Wayne in a suit, uh, special edition. Uh, Batman with, I don't know, fighting pose, special edition. And, and Bruce, Bruce Wayne, Wayne wearing and Batman mascara. Under, under mask. got, yeah. um, this year, at the moment, we can't ship them to the US or Canada. Um, sorry, we just can't. Yeah, you're uh, on those listings because occasionally it might change. Um, but who knows? This point in time, I can't do it. Um, but uh, film's coming out, I'm excited, I'm excited to see Paul Dana. Uh, I'm excited to see Robert Pattinson uh, less than I am to see Paul Dana, but um, boy, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I'm just saying that for Jackass. Can't wait for it. Uh, the Witcher, the Witcher, the, the Netflix series Witcher, we've got uh, some pops in from that, and uh, I don't think one of you guys have watched this because... I have. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, I could take over. <laughs> all right, so these are all from season one, I believe. So we've got Yennefer, we've got Geralt, and we've got Geralt. Um, he comes with a chase piece as well, where he's all hopped up on potions and everything. Um, we've got Yaskia in red, and we also have Yaskia as a special edition as well. So there's two different versions you can get. There's also a special edition version of Yennefer um, during a big battle. We won't say much about that if you haven't seen the series. And of course, we've got Siri on top there. So really, really interesting series, um, more based on the books than obviously the games and that kind of thing. Um, season two is very interesting so far. Definitely recommend checking it out. But in the meantime, are you into Powerpuff Girls? Because boy, we've got the full <laughs> set of those. So we've got Mojo Jojo, Fuzzy Lumpkins, Buttercup Blossom, and of course, Bubbles. Of course, but no, 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 no. Start, start, you said, of course, Mojo Jojo. <laughs> <laughs> and also from uh, South Park, specifically the Stick of Truth, we have um, Stan, Butters, Kyle, and Cartman in their. Um, Grand Wizard, High Elf, yes. Paladin, and Ranger outfits. Um, Butters is definitely my favourite. He's always going to be my favourite. But they all look really, really good. Um, really vibrant colours and everything. Really good likeness um, from the game. Um, which is a really good game, by the way. It actually is. Can I just say a great feature of these Powerpuff Girls ones? The, the bases are actually coloured with the colour of the um, the character. So rather than just having like a transparent one, as they normally would have my characters, what they've got thing? green, um, red, and blue. And it really does form the kind of like speed line thing that they do when they fly. I think it's cool. The cat trails. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Fuzzy Lumpkins. Yeah, that's good. Oh, Bob Girls is really cool. Hey, did we talk about these albums yet? Yeah, yeah that's the last yeah. thing we need to talk right. about. Because we're so, going to give one away. We are giving one away, but we got some pop albums in. They're huge. Um, they're kind of a wall mountable pop set with a vinyl record that you can't play um, and some album artwork. So we've got in the ACDC Back in Black album, which I think we're actually giving away. We're giving that one away. We're giving this one away. So it comes with the five members of the band and the Back in Black album artwork. Um, and it's all encased like in a yeah, it it is. It's sealed in a in That's why. Um, and the, uh, the actual box is on the outer. So what you're really buying is what's in. You meant to take it out. You meant to put it yeah. on the wall. You meant to display it um, with the pops and the album next to each other. Um, we got the Kiss album Destroyer. They glow in the dark. Yeah, these are glow in the dark as well, which is cool. So um, that might be uh, somewhat scary if you don't like things that glow in the dark. <laughs> um, we got the Metallica. That's that's the black album. It's the black album, um, and they're they're grayscale as a result from being a black album, um, which is cool. Uh, uh, if anything's more your speed, uh, you can get that with a little Justin Timberlake there with his curly hair. Um, Look just like ramen noodles. Oh my god, it's in sync. <laughs> um, you can add this to your collection. Word. Um, otherwise, the doors. Uh, waiting for the sun. There they all are. The doors. Um, and 
just as they look there, and they look like they're just in the same clothes and everything. Uh, so yeah, we've got that. Uh, there's also a Queen and a Guns N' Roses one that um, did, we did show last episode. Just quickly, yeah. Paul, it is um, Catman, Starman, yeah, Spaceman, yeah, the Demon, the Demon. Three of four, three of four. <laughs> um, so three of four is pretty good. Not yeah. bad. Not bad. So I do know my pop rocks. <laughs> Let's give away some prizes. Let's give away some prizes. Yeah. Uh, we've got three prizes to give away. We've got the ACDC uh, pop album. We have the Tinkerbell backpack. And we've got a Ken Griffey Jr. Game use swatch with the, the Jersey Fusions. Um, let's do it. Will Scoot's going to live. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Just distracted by the feedback for a second. But we're all back in now. Here we go. Let's spin it to win it. Here we go. What are we giving away this time? Back in black. Back in black. Here you go. Yeah, that wheel's still going strong. It's good, it's good. Oiled up, ready for action. Ready for a new year. Zachary, congratulations. Hey. Uh, Zachary Tua. Zachary, send us a message with your address, your email address. Yeah, just his address and his email address. And yeah, and we'll get that prize. Post the information, yeah. address, and email address. That's yeah. all we need. Just send us that through on Facebook and we'll get this sorted for you. Well, take a Next spin. Take a bell backpack on that fly. Let's do it. Oh, it's got a sound better. Steffi Strang! Steffi Strang, congratulations! Uh, just send us a private message from Facebook with your name, personal information, email address. We'll get that shipped out to you next week. And uh, final spin, uh, of course, is the King Ooh, Griffey Jersey, 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 Jersey Fusion Game You Swatch. This is a King Griffey Disc Jersey, uh, Jersey Fusion All Sports 2021 Edition. Includes material worn from a 1991 full uniform worn by the player depicted on the accompanying original card. Uh, That's so, a good get. And yeah. he was also in The Simpsons. He was also in The Simpsons. Griffey and his immensely swollen jaw uh, is heading his, uh, towards Benny McGill. Congratulations, Benny. Just send us a private message on Facebook with your name, postal information, email address. We'll get you this uh, sweet as uh, Jersey Fusion card. Send your way next week. Guys, thanks for watching. This has been a week in review here at Pop Culture. First one of 2022. I think we did all right. I think. Uh, I like the amount of chat. It was I, good. Yeah. I have some constructive criticism. We shot the shit. Everyone had a good time. Yep. Josh, your criticism. Uh, just, I don't know, I didn't like it when you said something, just the tits. <laughs> 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 Alright, well, I'll take uh, that under advisement. Huh? Um, anyway, thanks for watching uh, Week in Review, Hip Hop Culture. I'm Andy, Bianca, Luke, Josh, and of course Blake behind the camera. We will catch you next week with another exciting episode of some exciting things that have come into the warehouse.